Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to be able to turn on our system, how to make sure it's communicating properly, and then I'm going to show you guys how to charge it as well. So to be able to turn on our remote, we're going to press and hold the power button right here until the screen lights up and we see the green LED flashing right here. To turn on the collar, we're going to press and hold the power button on the collar until the green LED lights up here. Once it lights up, we release. Normal operation, the unit will blink one screen every four seconds. So now that we've set up our remote and our collar, we're going to go show you guys how the hands-free square works. Essentially, it will already come paired to the collar in the continuous state. So just so you guys can see, I'm pressing hands-free square. You see it blinking here, seeing it light up here, and then seeing it light up on the remote, indicating all three parts are communicating. Stay tuned for further tutorials on how to set up and change the function of the hands-free square. Now, guys, just to kind of show you how the test light works or the, the unit operates itself so we can show function, put the test light on the collar. We're going to go ahead and dial it all the way up to the max setting. And then with pressing the continuous button, we should be able to see a nice, bright orange light there. Also, to verify functionality, go ahead and press the pager button. We should hear the collar vibrate and the light lighting up, indicating that it's receiving a signal. Again, guys, to be able to maintain the charge on the system, we do please ensure that you are using the proper 10 volt charger that came with your 1900S. Go ahead and charge it, plug it into a charging block. Uh, once we have power, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and take our splitter cable. We're gonna insert it into the back of the remote. And how we know the unit is charging, we should have a red light and nothing on our screen. Again, with the collar, same thing. Go ahead and power down the collar. We're going to open up the charging port, plug our collar in, and a solid red light on the unit is indicating charging. When the unit completes its charge, these LEDs will go to green. Please do not leave the units on the charger overnight or really any longer than it takes for them to go green. Please stay tuned for further tutorial videos.